is Margaret with Recipe Amateur Investigator. Today we're going to make an am uh, amaretta cream brulee. So let's get started. So you're going to get two cups of whipping cream, put it in, and we're going to let this um, come to a, a boil. Turn on my Curtis Stone cookware. Okay, then you're going to get two tablespoons of amaretta. Love my amaretta. So let's get two tablespoons in here. One and two. Then you're going to get one teaspoon of almond extract. a little bit of the oil in here. That's why I put that back. Okay. Perfect. Okay. There we go. Then we're going to just stir this around. Just let it stir a little bit until it gets to a boil. While this is trying to get to a boil, you're going to get four egg yolks and crack them. Keep your egg white. You can make a meringue with it or make an omelet or something else with it. Then while this is getting hot, with your four egg yolks only, you're going to get a half of a cup of sugar. Put it in there. I need this. Oh my gosh, you can smell the amaretta with the almond. It smells so good. It's starting to boil too. So let's get going. So you're going to get and you're gonna whip it in here. And it's gonna kinda of look like this. Okay? You see it? Okay. Then what you're gonna do, because this is starting to boil, you're going to turn it off. You don't wanna cook the eggs. So what you're gonna do is pour this in gradually. And then we're just stir it up. And then we're gonna get in some more. And we're gonna mix it up. I'm just gonna just kind of mix it. Because you don't want to cook the eggs, that's why we're not pouring it in there. So this part's the this is probably the longest pour, part to do, except for baking it, and then you have to let it chill. But give me one minute. Mmm, smells good. And just keep doing this. When you're doing, um, while this is on, you're gonna reheat your oven to 350, just to let you know. You're gonna go ahead and get your little, um, little cream brulee dishes, whatever you wanna use. And I have mine ready to go. You're going to put them inside of a baking dish or roaster pan or anything like that. And then we're going to fill it up with hot water. One moment. Keep doing this. Keep stirring it. Because you don't, like I said, you don't want to cook the eggs. Okay. I think we're down to the very bottom, so... I'm just going to unplug it and pour the rest of this in. And let me just move this off to the side. Okay. And then we're just going to stir it. Make sure it's all whipped together. And that's it. And then you're going to get your little, like I said, your little dish right here. I'm using these little um, pirates things I've got from Rachel Ray many, many, many years ago. So then you're just going to get this. And we're just going to fill these up. These are a little bit larger. On my other ones I made, I used my little smaller one and it makes four. So we'll see how many this one makes. And then I have another one right here. Okay. 
So this one's gonna make three, but if you have the smaller ones, it would make four, just to let you know. And pour the rest of it in here. Then, let me get my hot water. There, my oven is ready. Then you're gonna get your hot water and you're just gonna cover the dish. Let me see if I can do this. I'll take one out. <laughs> and you're just gonna put some hot water in here. Put this back. And then we're gonna put some more in this one. And I'm gonna pop these in the oven real quick. Give me just a second. And again, we're gonna put these in the oven at 350. They look good, huh? Smell the amaretta? Okay. Let me put this one back in there. And then you're gonna bake it for 25 minutes. So let me put my timer on. Once it's finished baking for 25 minutes, you have to let it sit out until it cools. I left mine in the water till the water got cool, and then I put it in the refrigerator. So let me tell you, show you what it looks like. I'm just gonna get one out. And this is the one I have, it made four. And I bought these little ones from um, Amazon. So, and I wish I knew the name of the, oh, they're from Jim, just to let you know. And this is what this one looks like. I'm gonna come closer and see it. After it cools, that's what it looks like. Then we're going to do the fun part. You're gonna get about two to three tablespoons of sugar and just spread it on top. I just want to make sure I get it on there. Okay, perfect. Then you're going to get your torch. I got this by Joe Chef. So I already have it turned on. I'm going to put it away from my face. Turn on the gas just a little bit so you can hear it sizzle. And then you just hit this and then you can do it. Then I'm going to Maybe lower my flame. Oops, maybe I did too much. Hold up. Oops, that's too much. I'm not really good at this. This is my second time using this. And then you're just going to burn the sugar just enough. Oh, come closer. You have to come closer. Watch. Look at this. See? You just want to burn the sugar to make the brulee. So for a moment, let's just keep going. Ooh, look how pretty. Oh my God, it's crystallized. Okay. Turn this, ooh, turn it off. Ooh, that looks good. Look how, look how pretty that looks. First time making this, I'm so excited. Then if you want, you can put some little bit of almonds if you want on top of it. Now, let's taste it. Now this recipe, um, actually, I got the recipe from Joe Chef. It came with my torch, just to let you know. It came with um, from Joe Chef, and it's called Amaretto Cream Brulee. So let me get my little spoon and taste it. Oh my gosh. I wonder if it's hot. Mmm, this is really good. Mm. I love this. It's not really sweet. I taste the amaretta, taste the almond. It is so smooth. It's so tasty. I would make this again. So follow me here on Facebook at Recipe Amateur Investigator. Join my group place, my group page. I'm also on Instagram because not always I do things 
the show, um, I'm making the recipe. Sometimes I make the recipe and just post it on Instagram, the picture and what the outcome looked like. Or hit subscribe if you like this recipe here on my YouTube channel at Recipe Amateur Investigator. I hope your family enjoyed this special treat as much as my family's not going to because these are for me. Bye, guys.